In this video we're going to look at how to calculate the interquartile range from um, a grouped frequency table. So in many ways um, this is similar to how we calculate the median um, and there's a previous video on that um, showing how to do it by interpolation and it's interpolation we're going to use again here. So I'm going to add in an extra column uh, and this is going to be a cumulative frequency column. just going to um, complete that column by adding each new value in turn and this is going to be useful because I'm going to use this to work out where the quartiles appear. So Q1 which is the first quartile um, is going to be a quarter of the way through the data so I'm going to do 22 divided by 4 which gives me 5.5 um, and by convention what we're going to do is we're going to round up to the nearest whole number um, when we haven't got a whole number in the first place so 5.5 um, indicates that it's the sixth value that we're interested in so then Q2 so Q2 will be the median so we don't need that Q3 we need to so the upper quartile and that's going to be at 22 and 4 multiplied by 3 which is going to be 16.5 which indicates it's the 17th value that we want. If we should happen to get a whole number then what we do is we round up um, half a unit so um, if we had a multiple of 4 here let's say you had 24 bits of data 24 over 4 would have given us 6 and so the uh, first quartile would have actually been um, the 6.5 value rather than the 6th value. Now from here I'm going to use interpolation to find um, the value of Q1 and Q3 because all I found is where it is rather than its actual value. And I'm going to use a diagram to help me. So um, above these three points I'm going to indicate the group so Q1 is the sixth value so that's going to be here in the first group somewhere so that group actually goes from 11.5 to 14.5 and Q1 is some way through that group and if I think of the same as the frequencies so the beginning of that group has a frequency of 0 by the end of the group we're up to 7 bits of data and we want to know where the sixth bit of data is so then I can use um, proportion here. So I can say that Q1 minus 11.5 over 14.5 minus 11.5. So the fraction that between 11.5 and Q1 is as a comparison of the whole group. And I can do a similar thing for the um, frequencies. So they're going to be equal to each other. Um, so then from here I can work out that Q1 is equal to so 14.5 minus 11.5 is 3 so then I can multiply that up so 3 multiplied by 6 sevenths add 11.5 so that gives me a value of 14.07 I'm just going to write down the exact value as well, so that was 197 over 14. Um, just because it's going to be better to, when I actually calculate the quartile to use the exact value. So I calculate Q3 in much the same way, so for Q3 now here I'm looking for the 17th value uh, which is in the final group, so 20.5 to 23.5 Q3 is somewhere through there um, and the beginning of that group was 16 the end is 22 this point here is 17 so I can then set up an equation so I've got here uh, Q3 minus 20.5 
over 23.5 minus 20.5 is equal to 17 minus 16 over 22 minus 16. And therefore Q3 is going to be equal to um, so 23 minus 5, sorry, 23.5 minus 20.5 is 3, so 3 multiplied by 1 over 6, which is that simplified, and 20.5 gives me a value of 21. So then I can work out the interquartile range. So the interquartile range is Q3 minus Q1. So it's 21 minus, and I'm going to use my exact value that I had. And that gives me 97 over 14, which is then 5.93.